Hello everyone, that's tuning into today's bird of final video. Go to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 2nd, I think, of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at CFSB 2 for December itself at the end of the video. And uh, I should get some of that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video is says our 6 MUK both forecast. And we'll also leave Jamie Froning to check out those two bids if you'd like to. But running very late today, I mean, I've had lunch, I had a lunch uh, with uh, friends, and very nice it was too. I had a nice, nice catch up. Um, but because of that, I'm running a bit late, so I shall uh, crack on with your 10 to 14 day in a bow. Just to say that, as far as the pub run is concerned, I'll let everybody know on the socials this evening whether we are good to go for the pub run or not this week. I have not done any uh, work on the winter update yet, so we may not be able to do the pub run tonight. I might be busy working on winter update, but uh, I'll let everybody know later on the socials. Uh, just to say, uh, we are continuing our fundraiser for uh, Rainbows Hospice. Rainbows provide vital care for babies, children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. They provide care for uh, those patients and also for their uh, families as well. This is a link to Rainbows Hospice, Brightening Short Lives. Um, and uh, you find a link to Rainbows in the description to see all of the work that they do. So this would be a Just Giving page. We're giving away a Christmas jumper, Star Wars Christmas jumper, actually, in size small. Um, and I'll let you have a little look at it. Here it is. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is, uh, Father Sif Mars. <laughs> Courtesy of the amazing Richard Short. Thanks, Rich, for uh, for the jumper there. Um, now, if you would uh, like to have a go at winning this, uh, all you need to do is come to the Just Giving page, link in the description with the video. Give a minimum £5 donation. That will get you placed onto the name picker on Sunday's live stream. Somebody will be winning that uh, Christmas uh, jumper. We are hovering just under £200, under £99. Thank you so much, everybody. For uh, for donating to, uh, to to our to our charity event, you know, and even if it's too small for you, it's too small for me. <laughs> I need X X X X X. No, I don't. I'm not that bad, but I do. I do need a larger size. You know? So uh, I appreciate for a lot of people, it'll probably be too small. But even if it's too small for you, it might work for a present for somebody, you know. So um, anyway, it's a bit of fun. So uh, if you'd like to uh, give five pounds to uh, Rainbow's minimum donation. So that will get you onto the name picker. And as I say, somebody will win that jumper on the live stream on Sunday. Thank you so much, everyone. And all amounts are greatly appreciated by uh, Rainbows. I know they are. Okay, well, let's have a look. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry, sorry. Well, let's have a look at central temperature. The CT is now sitting at 7.5. That's one degree above 61 to 99. The average come down a lot over the past few days with the cold snap. Uh, that's provisional to yesterday, to the 21st of November. Two more drops to go uh, with that, I think. And then we'll probably start ticking that back up again through the weekend and into next week. These were GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. Look, Cardiff today, red line is the third year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. It's only up below average at the moment. Coming wider over the weekend, associated with Storm uh, Bert, of course, Storm Bertie. <laughs> um, and then after that, we go a bit cooler again through the early to middle part of next week. Then the upper air temperature is looking relatively mild, but it could be under high pressure, so down on the surface it might be chilly. Notice the big green line, though. Um, that's a GFS 6N operational run, and uh, that is dipping back down into the freezer in the extended range. Do -do -do, do -do -do. <coughs> Do -do -do. What's wrong with my voice? <laughs> Do -do -do. Um, no, that's dipping back down into the freezer by the uh, by the end of uh, uh, of the run, which is like the first week of December. So it's going to be much colder on the GFS six. So you're going to see that in a moment. Precipitation wise, lots of wet weather to come over the weekend. Of course, real deluge on the way with uh, with old Bert, and then uh, beyond that. <laughs> We fight, but uh, it's rather unsettled with uh, further bouts of rain coming through at 
times running well. Temperature normally is from the 22nd to 30th of November. A little bit above average in the south, a little bit below up in the north. Not a big deviation either way. And precipitation anomalies from the 22nd to 30th of November. Most places coming out wetter than normal. The latest wind from Matt from Earth and Low School. Next shows so that we've actually got a ridge through the country today, cutting off the northerly, even northerly, and going off into the North Sea and into uh, the continent. We're cutting that off under the ridge, and then we've got uh, Storm Burt developing out in the Atlantic, will be with us by the end of the night through tomorrow. Right, so let's start going through chart data. That is Storm Burt, still to the northwest of Scotland at midnight on Monday. So, unsettled through weekend with bouts of rain and strong winds. Next week, takes that low pressure over to Norway and a ridge builds in in its place. That is quite a cool ridge with some uh, chilly nights to come. A little low down in the south east could bring morning wave rain through the middle part of next week into south east corner. But essentially, next week is high pressure. So it should be a lot of dry weather around, um, but probably quite cold with the risk of some frost and fog. I come doing the same thing, really taking that low pressure into Norway early next week, then building in a ridge for the middle part of the week, mostly dry, quite chilly around the middle of the week. That's how we end up with Icon, low pressure to west southwest, high pressure to the north, northeast, mostly dry, technically might bring up a southerly flow, but could be quite chilly, I think, on the surface. KMA, again, builds in that ridge through the uh, early part of next week. Plenty of high-pressure domination to come. Um, and that high-pressure sticking around, gradually moving away to the east. So we end up in a minor southwesterly there as we go through the first week of uh, December. So um, becoming milder through the first week of December, I think, with rain in the north and the west. The GFS midnight run shows high pressure going out to the northwest, low pressure over into the southeast, catch through the middle of next week. Quite chilly, quite cold, northeasterly winds with further outbreaks of rain. Eventually, we get rid of that low and high pressure build through the country late next week, bringing a lot of dry but probably quite cold weather. And then uh, heading on to day 10, we start to read about high pressure over towards east of Europe, low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. So the midnight run eventually turns increasingly unsettled with low pressure bringing bouts of rain. But at least it will be mild. GFS 6 then, now we know this gets cold. You're going to see how that happens. GFS 6 then, starting off with low pressure to uh, the northwest. That clears away to Norway on Tuesday. High pressure then built between Scotland and Iceland. But we've got an area of low pressure underneath it. So that's quite a cold, wet scenario through the middle of next week. We eventually get rid of that low, and the high pressure builds up towards Scandinavia, so um, quite chilly and drier for the second half of uh, next week, with a risk of some frost and fog. That's day nine, high pressure still over to the east country, but notice his height starting to rise up towards Greenland again, and what happens on this GFS 6 head run, how we get plunged into the freezer, is via another Greenland block, so that's similar to what we've had through the third week of November. It comes back in the first week of December, Heights building back up over uh, Greenland and Iceland. Cold air plunging southwards into uh, northern parts of Europe. Look, poised with the upper air temperatures to start dropping in some much colder air then. And indeed, that's what we do. So the low pressures down to Spain and Portugal. We build the heights strongly uh, as a blocking feature around Greenland. And we get wind back round into a much colder north or north easterly. So by the 5th of December, upper air temperatures have gone cold or very cold across the north and west of Europe. And then we keep it cold with GFS 6 then right away to the very end. That blocking air of high pressure remains in place over Greenland by some winds continue from the north and upper air temperatures remain cold. There would be the risk of wintry hazards with that frost, ice, snow, all of that sort of thing. Obviously, <laughs> detail would be firmed up on close to the time. Remember, on the ensemble graph, it is an outlier. Um, there are other ensemble members doing something similar, but it's certainly at the very coldest end of the, of, of the range and probably is overall a synoptic outlier. So unlikely to verify, but it doesn't mean that it won't verify, or it can't verify, just means that it is unlikely 
at this point to do so. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's so, say I think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Let's get them to subscribe to. We've got around 75 subscribers, 75, to get to 19.2k. Uh, so if you could give us a, a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. A GM with uh, Storm Burt to the North West Scotland on Monday. We get rid of Burt through Tuesday. High pressure building. We're trying to build to the North West, but winds up from the South West. So a different scenario again from a GM. Very mild through next week with rain out to the North and West. We eventually finish up by uh, day 10, which is 2nd of December. Looking like we're about to push through those areas of low pressure and potentially start bringing some colder air in from the north. We do look a bit poised there uh, with cold air sitting just to the north of Scotland. And notice heights are rising around Green Island, although not as much so as the GFS 6 it has. And uh, but a bit of a hint of something cold through the first week of December with the gem. And then uh, the ECM rounding it all off with low pressure northwest got on Monday, going to Norway on Tuesday, high pressure reaching through the country on Wednesday and Thursday, bring a lot of dry but potentially quite cold weather with frost and fog. And then heading up toward day 10, turns unsettled again with low pressure back in from off the Atlantic, just perhaps a hint of an orderly there. By uh, day 10, which is the 2nd of December, although probably only transient northerly. There's no particular blocking feature around Green Greenland and Iceland up to that point. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometro.com. In comes all of the wind, rain, and indeed snow associated with storm burst. Significant snow for risk of blizzards over hills and mountains for northern England, Scotland. Tomorrow morning turns quickly back to rain. Loads of rain piling in from the Atlantic as well. Thoroughly wet for England and Wales throughout much of the weekend. Actually, it, <laughs> it takes until Monday to get rid of that rain. Southeast corner, and then plenty of showers packing into the north and west. Further showery bursts coming and going then through uh, next week. A little bit of winchiness mixed in, maybe of high ground too. Uh, and all the way up to day 10, further bouts of rain, never too far away. These are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 12th of December. 24 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge across Central Europe and high pressure blocking around Green and Iceland. Low pressure to the southwest and winds will be coming up southerly direction. But the high pressure block is trying to get wind into the north as well. Uh, it does also generally quite unsettled at day 10. There, we've got 16 with high pressure towards Scandinavia and indeed around Greenland as well. So that's quite blocked. Winds could be coming in from the east, could be uh, mostly dry but chilly. And then 11 with high pressure away to the northwest. So around that, we might be bringing in some uh, quite cool air from the northeast as well. And then, two is time. <laughs> These are the options that we've got. <coughs> so, sorry once more. It gets us to the 7th of December. 12 members of the ECM ensembles. High pressure blocking around Iceland. Low pressures over France and winds are in from the east. So that could be that could be quite cold actually. Uh, with that scenario, we've got nine with low pressure right over top of UK and Ireland. That looks very unsettled as well. Another nine, probably a sort of trough through here, quite unsettled again. Eight with low pressure to the north, high pressure. To south, winds coming in from the west. We've got another eight with high pressure over, <coughs> excuse me, and to the west of the country. I'll drive over with that. And then five with high pressure um, in the North Atlantic. And with that, we could bring in a wind from a north or uh, from a north or a north east direction. So lots and lots of options to go out there in uh, two weeks' time, and even in uh, in, uh, in in ten days' time. Actually, looking quite quite um, uncertain. So there's a lot of uncertainty here as we're pushing on into December. So there's been two finally for December. Uh, 700 mil bar height anomaly. Men these change daily. Today's idea looks like this. Plenty of high pressure 
uh, close to the UK, a significantly more than average month. It's forecasted there um, by around 1 to 2 degrees above average and no signal, signal for precipitation. But you would have thought a relatively dry month would be likely with all of that high pressure. We shall see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And click on for doing that. And uh, drop a comment. Let's know what you think. Right, so I'll let everybody know uh, later on whether we've got to go for pub run or not. Weekend updates will be including the 6 m UK bill forecast tomorrow. The East we have 42 day out. We have forecast and attain a 14 day of all the bread features. And then Sunday, then 6 m forecast. We've got the epic 13th and final winter update. Uh, we're more or less at the end of our uh, winter updates journey. Uh, now, got just got one more update to do a member forecast on the 1st of December. Um, and we will be live at 6.30, live at half past six, uh, with, uh, well, we'll be discussing the 13th update, giving away a Christmas jumper, doing a 10 or 14 day out, and we'll include some long range in that live stream as well. So that's going to be epic, epic, epic. And that's coming up at half six on Sunday. So I shall see everyone then. You enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday. And for this one, that's all for now. All the camera's bright. <laughs> so this one, that's all for now. And thanks so much.